stick next to it. There's just... Okay. Anyway, um, your main ability, is that called Heavy Swing? I want to make sure I'm in the right class. Me? Yeah. Like my Yeah, my number one is called Heavy Swing. Okay, so the thing I was talking about with combos earlier means that <clears throat> we start with the Heavy Swing. And I'm a bit high level for this, so that is awkward. But when I hit it with Heavy Swing, that will trigger the combo right, right here. Okay. So that'll trigger the combo into maim. And then once I use the combo, the border, the sparkly border on maim will be gone. So I go back to heavy swing. And that's all you used to kill that wasp was heavy swing and, comp and main? Yeah. So you just kind of go back and forth between the two abilities. Um... One and then wait for sparkle, then click two. Yeah. So you pretty much always start with heavy swing to make the sparkle and then use the sparkle. Think of the sparkle as like a super powered um, or like extra damage on that ability when you use it. But you have to start the combo with heavy swing. So that'll always be the first one. We got you another use. person coming. Do you need help? No. Oh, I'm fine. I'm these these can't hurt me. Okay. I'm too high level for this. These can hurt me. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll make sure you don't die. Don't worry about it. Humble okay, brag. I, I on this friend over here. Did you just mute yourself? Did you no. I unmuted myself. Don't care. Two. One. Okay. Yeah, two. How am I supposed to find an egg? <laughs> find one in the zone. They give you a zone. Fuck off. Oh, that was so easy. Yeah, so it, it's very, like, the way they designed it is kind of like a rhythm game, if you think of it that way. So you just have to hit the notes in sequence, so to speak. But other numbers work together. Yeah, um, if you read the other abilities that you have, usually you can kind of figure out how they fit. So, for example, um, we have Ber Berserk. Yeah. If you hit that and then do your combo, uh, you'll ha be guaranteed three crits. I think. Oh, wait, am I looking at the right one? Yeah. So if you are like fighting a boss or something, you'll basically mm -hmm. want to hit Berserk as often as you can so you get those like really big critical hits. Um, but there's a longer cooldown, so you can't do it for every combo. You just yeah. do it each time it's available. How do you kill those creatures so fast? That's because I'm a higher level. Like, this this is level 46 on this class for me. Um, so if we were doing, like, dungeons or something, we all get scaled to the same level. But just in the open world, I keep my level... Keep so, really high level? Yeah. You killed that in, like, one smash. Yep. <laughs> Run. So so that's kind of how the combat works is you go through the cycle of using your main abilities and just keep doing that combo. And then while you're doing that combo, you use Berserk when it's off cooldown and other abilities that might increase the damage of the combo on the side. But... Um, the core of the combat is just doing that combo over and over again. Um, it's going to take a while. Wait, it's two. And one, you, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah. And as you get to higher level, I forget what level it is, but like at level one, you just have the one ability. And then at level like five or ten or something, you get the second one. And then as you hit... Um, trying to think here okay. heavy swing maim is level four storms pa okay level 26 you'll actually get a third ability in the combo so you'll have to go instead of one two one two you'll go one two three one two three oh and then that's really cool so it, and it kind of and as you're going up in level as well it'll unlock more things like berserk that you can use um for example 
Uh, I just have to find where I put it because I broke everything on this character. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hi, Sir Bay. Hi. Hello. There we go. Hola. Hola. I'm enjoying using this one too. I don't know what the egg is. Am I just supposed to keep killing things here? No, I think you're supposed to look for the egg. You don't have to kill anything. Yeah, it's it's you very. You don't have to kill it. It's good because it's like it keeps a constant flow to the combat, but at the same time, like, it becomes muscle memory, but you still sort of have to think about it. And then, when you screw up, and, um, accidentally screw up your combos, then you feel bad. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm already, I'm already killing the, the creatures way better than I was pre-talking to you, so... I think any anything for me is just going to be up and up, even if I mess up. Yeah, so, and it, it kind of just becomes practice where, like, um, the best players know exactly how to weave all the other boosting abilities into their rotation. Like, it's called a rotation because you just go in a circle of one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, but at the end of the day, you just do what you're comfortable with. And once you are play more and you're better, then you can do the really fancy things. Um, and then sometimes as well, like, one of the reasons I suggested using the this axe class to start is because it's one of the easiest classes to play uh, solo. Because it's it's a tank class and it has a really simple rotation. Are you saying I picked the wrong class? No, you're, a Dragoon is... <laughs> Dragoon is still really easy. It's just, uh, it's a bit hard, uh, easier to kill. If you're playing by yourself. I have not died yet. You will. I've oh, died. absolutely. <laughs> I'll die regularly, we both know this. <laughs> But, um, the complicated thing is that eventually, when you do dungeons, uh, the Marauder is a tank class. Uh, which means you lead the dungeon group through the dungeon, basically. Boogie will? Or, well, you no. will, because you're a Marauder. Oh. Oh. Um, and in that... You, you and I are tanks, so we lead the groups. The tiny ones lead. <laughs> 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 it doesn't make sense. I feel very safe and protected. <laughs> well, the thing is, we can only have one tank, one healer, and two DPS for every dungeon. Mm, okay. So we'll need to have multiple um, people, or like people playing different classes for doing dungeons. Okay. Because I at least can play every class with... You kill those very fast. Oh yeah, I'm here to help. I'm like your <laughs> pocket battle chicken or whatever. Speaking of Is battle chickens. Battle chicken? Yeah, pocket battle chicken, look. Battle chicken. Oh, that that's another question I have is when do I get a little friend? I see everyone walking around with little friends. <laughs> um the the little like just cosmetic pets? You um, are the little friend. <laughs> she is the little. <laughs> she is actually honestly like tiny, like minuscule. You think you told <laughs> me to be as short as possible, so I, I pulled it all the way down. <laughs> it's it's Never kind of listen crazy. to Flopsy. I listen to you, Flopsy. <laughs> You're like, I don't think you even reach the belly of the chicken. Like, I think you no. can walk under this. Ch anyway, <laughs> what was I talking about? I hey, believe. Flopsy. Hmm. What do purple exclamation marks mean? Uh, they're very surprised, but in purple. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm very, not... very informative. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're what you're talking about. It's a quest, it's and a instead quest of being blue, purple. it's a purple exclamation. It's like a hexagon, and it's purple. 
Do you remember any purple ones? Oh, hey, Foxy, we gotta leave this okay. Zone. So the purple ones are just fates, but they're they're like mm -hmm. different like quest fates. Ah, so leave them. Yeah, they they're not worth doing, really. I think I need to go to Western. You want to play? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Going to Western. So. Yeah, I completely forgot. <laughs> the minions. Oh, right. So the pets. Um, there's different Wait, vendors yeah. all through the game <clears throat> that you do different things, and you can buy pets from. So that just I had that hasn't unlocked yet. Uh, some of them will be unlocked, and you just have to actually find them. But you also need like, you'll be kind of poor right now. Will be your main struggle. I have two thousand dollars. Yeah, that's very poor. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, wait! If two thousand is poor, what am I? Uh, broke so as up. f. I have like twelve. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think I've seen this one. Yeah, a lot of the pets are like there's there's one that's I think thirty million. What? Oh, but, I'm never gonna be able to afford one. But that's like, that's like a really stupid. Like that's the I think the most expensive pet in the game or something. Most of them are a lot cheaper than that. Okay. I'm just saying, like, like that's that's kind of what a about picture $2, of thousand dollars. Would you say two thousand? No. <laughs> May I, hold on. I, let me go check. I know where one is, so I'm going to go check, and then I will report back to you. Okay. There's lots of quests over here. I think it's this guy? Nope, it's not oh, that Boogie's guy. Oh, Boogie's in the party too! Boogie, come join us! Are you, doing, are you going to do your own quest right now, Boogie? I am doing the main quest, because I've been told I need to catch up. Yeah, so for Boogie, because she started as a Lancer, she's doing the exact same thing uh, we're doing, just in a different starting city. Oh, okay. So we, we can't play with Boogie right now? All of the main quest line all converge at a certain point. Um, after we start, like, they all start in their own city, but at a certain point, the main quest all, be, all merges into one. And then we'll all be doing the exact same thing, and that's when we can all play together a lot easier. So, Flopsy, are you, like, picturing, like, is this going to take, like, a month plus for us to get to this point, or...? Um, no, I don't think so. It's no. hard to say, just because, um... Like, Sorbet is going through it at absolute light speed. Um, and then Boogie doesn't have a computer yet. So, it's all over so the place. Boogie can, only, Boogie can only play with Dudette right now? Yeah. Yeah. That's I told her she could play instead, but she didn't like my ans uh, my re request. My I'm okay. It's installing on my, on my other laptop. It's just taking a while. Okay, so... The first pet I could think of to find is actually 2400 um, Gil. So Easy. you can almost afford it. And there's Easy. three of them from that vendor. Nice. I will 100% be going to buy it. And there's... I am sensing that you might be a bit of a pet collector. Uh, Probably. There's like 10,000 pets to get. <laughs> so, oh, wow. There's a lot of pets. I don't know and, exactly and you, how many. You, you have a personal Choco Bow Keep? That you get to ride around? Oh what, yeah, my, my my chicken. So chicken. Yeah, at a certain point Chocolate. around level twenty, I think, you go on a quest. Part of the main quest will bring you to a place where you get your own chicken, and you can use cabbages and summon them, and they'll help you in combat in the world for thirty minutes per cabbage. You get to ride them. I can ride it. Yeah. Can I ride yours? 
No, unfortunately. <laughs> She's going to run away with it. <laughs> yeah, just steal my chicken. <laughs> I would. <laughs> okay, I'm a little bit lost on my quest right now. Grabbing oh. crabs. Crabs. I don't see any. Once you get on um, the it map, says it says to Western. On the mouse. Mm -hmm. oh. Western Lenoskia? Like yeah. And then okay. it is, the quest is called Grabbing Crabs. And then it's just showing me this like green circle I mean, where I'm supposed to be. For me to put something up oh, here. okay. So that's a Levy Quest tutorial. So what you need to do is open your questing log, which is a button that you would press to open the questing log. Do I remember what button that is? No. Uh, just click on the quest on the right side of your screen. If it's, if is it showing up there? Journal. Yeah, quest journal. Yeah. Um, and if you click on that quest, there should be a button that says initiate. Oh yeah, there is. Cannot initiate grabbing crabs. One or more party members are too far away. Okay, so then we need to kick boogie. Oh, rip. oh, Okay, try again. Initiate. Your so home sad. point is not set. Oh no, what is it doing? That's fine. It um, you can set the crystal here as your home point in case you die, because you always okay. resurrect at your home point. But we don't care about that because you won't die, and you want it to stay in the city anyway. Okay, so just click OK. Yeah. Wait, it's gonna. It's about to be hard. Not at all, no. Okay. It says recommended level is just level four. And yeah. I'm above that. Yeah, this okay. will this will not be a problem. Yeah. I started it. So that will summon this this crab. Where? It's dead. Oh now. dang. <laughs> oh, you killed it. Okay. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I didn't do anything. <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> It's, it's like when my toddler helps clean and she's like, we did it. I'm like, no, I did it. <laughs> return to, wait, return yes. to the Levamite at Swift Perch? Yep. Click yes, return. Yes. Okay. And that'll, did it. that'll bring you right back to this guy. And then you can hand it in. Oh, nice. So what these are, um, when we're going around and there's like the normal quests from guys that you can do. These are kind of like, I just want to grind out some XP and stuff really quickly. So you talk to these guys and they'll have a bunch of levies, which is just a weird way of saying quest. Um, is, is that why he's he has the blue exclamation mark? Yeah, because you have to do one levy here first in order to unlock him as a quest hub. So they're kind of like little daily quests you can do um, if you really needed to grind out XP in order to be able to do the next main quest or something. Okay, um, Flopsy. Hmm. Flopsy, we, we need to go buy a pet because I have enough money now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take, so, take, take me. <laughs> so you have the return ability set at the city? Uh, I have it to the lower decks. Perfect. So teleport. Use the return ability. Okay. This is so exciting. I'm so excited. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Dude, Dad, do you have a pet? I don't have a pet, and I'm past level 20. Oh. Do you, do you not have enough money? I don't know <laughs> how much money I have. Wow, are you broke? Okay. Okay, I, I, I there's just so many people here. I've lost you. Yeah, I'm trying to find you. You're very small. <laughs> <laughs> Look underneath everyone's feet. What? Right in front of me. Team says what? Where? Oh, right there. Okay, Should I, I, see, I, you. Move or I not? see you. I see you. Okay. Okay, I'm right. Okay, so we need to go talk to Bango Zango right over here. I'm so excited. Do that. You need an. You need a pet ASAP. I know. I'm going to okay. spend all of my money. Well, I'm going to talk talk to this person. Yeah, Bango Zango, and Bridges. then click, 
click on purchase items. Items. And he has three pets. One is a cherry bomb, one is a mamet, and one is a wayward hatchling. And you can kind of see what they look like in the um, icon when you mouse over them. Mm -hmm. Cherry bomb's a bit scary. He is a bit mm -hmm. scary, yeah. I think, I'm, I think I might do a hatchling. The hatchling and the mamet are adorable. Because the hatchling is all just right, a little the... baby chick and an egg, and it's super cute. I'm going to buy the hatchling. I'm going to spend all my money and buy a hatchling. What's one Mondi left? Okay, I bought it. Now okay. what? Okay. So now, in your yeah. inventory, there should be a little item yeah. that's like a horn or something. And you'll need to use it. Ram horn? Let me... I think I can, I'll just buy one. Oh no, it actually looks like the hatchling. Just buy one, he says. I don't have very much money left now, though. <laughs> oh, did you? I spent all my money on my little hatchling. Yeah, so in in your inventory, you'll have the hatchling, and then you just need to. It's like a consumable item that you use. Will will, will, will my hatchling die? No, you just need to use it to okay. uh, unlock it in your hatch in your um, pet log. So as soon as you unlock it now, you can summon it whenever you want. Okay, after I'm gonna you... try. After you use the item. Perfect. Sir, Sir Bay would like to know where where you all are. Uh, we're in the by the main teleporter in uh, Limsa Lomosa. Lomanissa. Lim, Lim, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I have it. Yes. I... I'm not sure where you are. How do I summon my little Limsa hatchling? Okay. So now that you unlocked it. If you click on the character button in the bottom right, open the thing called Minion Guide. All right. Oh, oh! I I already had a little kitten. So now you can you can um, drag it onto an action bar, so you can summon it whenever you want, or you can just summon anything you want from here by just right clicking on it and hitting summon. Are you by the the blue thingy? Yeah, we. No, oh, I see you, Sorbet. My little I see you. There you go. Hi, Sorbet. Right. Oh, stop moving. Oh, right here. Hello. All right, come over. <laughs> come over here. <laughs> Wait, where are you guys? So Bango's. You see my little hatchling. Yeah, yeah Bango's uh. right now. And then purchase items, and then he has three pets you can buy. From the bango guy. What are you gonna buy, Sorbet? Oh, she has. I don't know. She has money for days now. Yeah, I have a. I didn't spend anything, so I think I can buy stuff if I want to. But well, well, you, I, should, you probably I have over have a million, don't you? Yeah, she hit level thirty, so she has at least a million. Because you get a free million gil for hitting level 30. Oh, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? But can, no. Can Sorbet join our party? Oh. I could invite Sorbet, but we are probably doing different things right now. Oh. How come it says that you're level 80 and I'm only level 19? Oh, I'm on my level 80 class right now. Wait, do you have a higher level one? No, this is my highest. I was going to say level 8 is very impressive. I don't know. I think the level cap might be... Oh, I'm going to Google it. Maybe level probably eight. level 19. I'm probably at the cap. Okay. Uh, <laughs> level, level cap is 90 right now. So I have 10 more levels to go on this one. I'm guessing as you get higher in level, it's harder to level up. Uh, it definitely does <laughs> take longer. But for the most part... Your overall level and XP really don't. Um, those aren't the things <laughs> blocking you from leveling up. It's mostly quest pro pro quest progression on the main quest that prevents you from leveling up. Um, and just like getting through the story. 
by the time you play through the main story, you will be level, uh, like, max level on everything, because there's just so much quests to get through. Oh, wow, okay. So we, we got a lot of game to play. Yeah, there's a lot of story and a lot of game before uh, that, and especially with the XP boost. Um, like, Serbe is level 37, but she's probably doing, like, level um, 15 quests or something. <laughs> That's just a guess. Uh, be higher than that. My you know common piece is 20. Level 20. Yeah. Yeah. How do you know what level quest you're doing? When you click on the, um, on the quest in the, in the journal, it'll show you in the top left. Mine is actually level 69, which is pretty nice. <gasps> I didn't even plan that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, <laughs> are you playing? My no, I, no. Uh, I, I want to show you a song that I learned. <laughs> uh, it's installing on my laptop. Boogie is playing on mom's laptop. All right. It's about it's about halfway on my laptop, so I'll be a few minutes. Okay. Oh, half, that's fast already. I'll Mine? show you what I learned after. Okay. I'm trying to play songs with the bard performance option. Oh, okay. There are... Okay, I'm not even kidding. There are alliances in this game that the only thing they do is sit in town square and play music. Well, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorbet is a music teacher, so... We, we should be that alliance. Alright, Flopsy, I have this really old quest that mm -hmm. I haven't done yet. Because I'm confused. Can you help me, please? Sure. Uh, Thank you so much. What's, it, what's the name of the quest? Uh, where's the heart? It's Journey to the Mist. Oh, okay. So, I googled where's the heart, and Google very helpfully told me that the heart is in the chest cavity. Um, so I'm adding Final Fantasy to the end of that Google search, which is much more helpful. <laughs> That's very, it's very helpful from Google. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Um, speaking of um, Scorpion Crossing... Okay, so what are you confused about for it? Um, you, see, see, that's a that's an interesting question. Um, let me go to the mist. I I need to figure out how to get there. I need to do some problem solving. Okay. So you know how to go to the mist, though. Well, I'm just gonna do some problem solving right now. <laughs> Unless, unless you know a direct way to get to the mist, then that would be, maybe be helpful. Um. Sorry. What's that? Yeah, I guess. Looks like I need to get to lower. So Outside the gates map. to the goblet in Western Thanalan. And then the whole thing just pops back on. Okay. Okay. The goblet. Just kind of sits back in place. I think the goblet is okay. I only to in. Okay, it looks like history. we just head down over to eastern and western down in the bottom corner. It's a long walk. I'm gonna start walking, Flopsy. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, wait. <laughs> um... I will hatch this is following me. Yeah, it does follow you. Two people were talking. Sorry, what were you saying? Me? Yeah. Uh, no, not you. Uh, Timo was talking okay. to me. 
Um, she's being antisocial. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, it's okay, Kimo. We yeah, understand we you live with Roxy. Okay, I was gonna say you can probably teleport there faster by using this. There's some. Um... What is, what is Are you the big blue thing? Yeah. There's a thing happening, so they're attacking me. I My... just teleported to the fisherman guild. Okay. Oh yeah, cause the um, that'll be the guy at the docks that you need to talk to, right? Oh okay. Oh oh yeah, over is this. I think he's over here. Down here. Where are you? I believe. I should put on some high vis clothing or something. I found you using the dot. Okay. It's this guy. So click cop to him and then seek passage to the mist. Oh, perfect. Oh. He says the fairy is presently out of service. I f that might be because we're in a party. I'm going to try and disbanding the party. Okay, try okay. again. Yeah, I'll try. That did not fix it. No. Hmm. hmm. Can we walk there? No. Okay. It's like, it's the mist is where you buy a house. So this is kind of the tutorial on how to get to your the housing district. I think that's maybe part of the question I has. Is it was making me choose one, and I didn't know what to choose. Maybe. <laughs> My little catchlead is so cute. <laughs> it's just bopping along. Where's my fisherman guild at? Oh, there. He's over here. I think. Yeah, right up the stairs in the room. This guy who wanted me to join his guild. Oh, I think you're talking to the... R yeah, you're talking to the rogue guild. That's not fishermen's. Oh, should that's... I not join? Well, no, you can still unlock it. Like, that's just how you unlock the ninja. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's not fishermen's. Or is it ninja? Or... I thought the fisherman was around here, though. Yeah, he's over here back where we teleported by the blue crystal. Okay, I'm coming back to the blue crystal. I'm just gonna... Is it because I left um, this quest for too long, and so it doesn't work anymore? No, it seems to be that there's a prerequisite class quest for it. Um, but I'm not sure what the prerequisite quest is. Hmm. Yet. But do I just leave it on my quest list for a while then? Yeah, I think just leave it for now while I try and figure out the requirement. All right, I joined the Fisherman Guild too. Okay, you'll want to. There's like an immediate quest you do where I think you talk to Philzno or something. And he'll give you a, or, and he'll give you a fishing rod. I'm sorry. Could you uh, pronunciate that again? I'm not sure I understood it. Ah, <sighs> Phil's no. It, it's Phil's no. <laughs> it's spelled F H I L S N O E, and you try and pronounce that better. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I think I'd prefer you trying to figure out what, what thing we were supposed to be in. I think I'll actually teach you how to fish while we're here, because I think you'll enjoy fishing. It. I fished in Animal Crossing. I never got <laughs> to fish in Last Fortress, though, because I didn't pay. Yeah, me too. I assume it was boring. I wonder how it's going for 520 or whatever their new name is. For the first time. Well, there, um, a bunch of people left into 523 because they didn't want to transfer. Um, and 
then they're joining and being merged and they're going to be disbanded mm -hmm. to merge. Oh, wow. That's pretty much how it how it's going. They're merging with who? I believe the TK family. Oh, oh right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they're all going to get split up based on CP because that's a massive family and yeah. Oh so, yeah. That's I mean, it's it's image. It's wanting to send me to the upper decks to do something. For the fishing? When I talk to them about, yeah, to talk to them about fishing. Okay. So come back to the blue crystal and we'll head there. Upper Maybe the aft aft castle one. Okay. Maybe a good one. The blue crystals are the biggest hack of life. Oh, they're awesome! Yeah. Yeah. Are you here? I've okay. not used one. I like how Flopsy's just been helping me do my quest the entire time. Well, I super appreciate it. Thank you so much. Boogs has do that, and Sorbet is just like a pro. She's been like playing this game secretly. She has like a billion hours played. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. She's got it <laughs> well. Probably what my brother does. I didn't have much work this week, so I was just like, eh, might as well. <laughs> Yeah, the teacher on strike, so... Yep. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. So, on strike, what do I do? I game. <laughs> well, I strike, and then... <laughs> well, it's like, uh, would you rather be on strike outside where it's cold, or would you like to play Final Fantasy all day? So. Well, I ended up doing both, so... Huh? Mm. <laughs> I did my uh, duty. There you go. Yep. Well, so do you remember what mouse uh, Tima has? She has the um the one I linked. The G three hundred five. Yep, G three hundred five. Mm. Okay, this is the person who wants me to talk to. What What do you think about wireless mouse versus versus wired? Foxy has wireless, Akira said wired. Yeah, Akira, I don't know about his opinion, really. Um, I think it's because he has like a super light mouse that has really high pulling rate because he plays shooters. But mm. for me, um, they did some testing on like regular mice versus wireless mice for these Logitech ones. And they actually found that there was less latency on the wireless than there was on the wired. Wow. Which is just kind of an indication of where the technology is now. Mm -hmm. um, and not only that, but the G305 that Tima's using, I think a battery lasts six months. About. Yeah, somewhere between six months to a year, we replaced the battery. Yeah, unit. yeah. I had a Logitech mask before, and it lasted a, a while until uh, Sorbet dropped acetone mm. on it. Why? Okay, I don't know why you would do that, but why? <laughs> but <laughs> I do that. under the bus. Any, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um... I don't remember doing that. This is slender. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. My mouse, the plastic on the mouse is all melted together. Well, you just assumed it was me. <laughs> it was you, I remember. We well, were doing I something for like Halloween and I needed to <laughs> remove stuff and you had nail polish. And it, 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 uh, it got spilled on the mouse. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was me, right? You're right. Yeah, that, that, was, that, was really, uh, that might have been, been something I would do. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's my perspective on, like, why those mouse are fantastic and they last forever. And I feel like people still kind of picture them as how they used to be shit and the battery would last, like, two days. Um... So, and especially once you get used to having a wireless mouse and not needing the 
the cable, you notice how annoying the cable is? So now when I go back to a wired mouse, I'm like, this cable is pissing me off and I want to get rid of it. Mm. So what I really like wireless mice, is the short version. And you can so go back to fighting phone over phone. the mouse now. Yeah. Look okay. at it. Every time I look at it, it's green. It was blue. Right. I swear. Oh, see? <laughs> yes. All the quests are over and it hasn't had me go fishing, but it uh, a fishing like tutorial did come up and it says to fish you must first change your class to fisher by equipping a rod in your main hand so it's teaching me how but it hasn't <laughs> told me to go Sorry. fishing okay so open your character screen and click on the main hand uh weapon that'll be your axe right now okay when you click on that it should open your armory chest and that'll show all of your um, weapons that you can use. Okay, I've got a weathered fishing rod. Should I put that in? Perfect. Equip that. And now you're not wearing well, I'm pants. Naked. I'm naked. <laughs> yeah, so, so what you do is you click the little blue man f to put on recommended gear. Okay. Zizi, it sounds a whole lot like he just did something to, uh... Yeah, he did! He literally... You up your clothes. <laughs> this was unavoidable, and it is not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> and do I click on these things? And click... Do I just click equip? Yeah. Pew, okay. So now you're wearing pants again. again. And <laughs> so that's how you switch to the uh, different class. Um... You'll see right beside, right beside the oh, recommend sweet. gear thing. There's now the... I'm, I'm I'm level one. I'm so tiny. <laughs> yeah, every every class you need to level up individually. Oh wow! So right, um, right beside the recommended gear thing, there's a gear set list. Wait, how do I get to recommended gear again? In your character screen, that little blue guy? Right, the blue one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so there's a button right beside it called Gear Set List. It says you have no gear set list yeah. saved. At the top of the gear set list window, there's a little plus button called Create a New Gear Set. Okay. I clicked it. So if you create that, it should make a uh, Fisher? It did. So now you can click and drag the Fisher icon and put it on your bar. Like if you just click Fisher and click and drag and it'll create a little icon. And you can put it on a bar. Or oh, then I can quickly go, go to fishing mode. Yeah. And you'll want to do that that same thing you went through for to, to make that Fisher uh, set. You'll want to do that for your Marauder set as well because right now if you were to put your axe back on, so you were once again a combat class, I believe you would be naked again. <laughs> no. So wait, which... <laughs> I've, I've got a lot of axes. Uh, which axe you, Just put on, put on any axe. Okay. For now. It and, didn't make me naked. So I, I guess the, uh, the gear you're wearing is universal, so that'll work. So now just click the recommended gear button again. Okay. And then equip. And then equip. Oh, it changed. So that'll put on all the best gear for this class. So now that you're in this class, go back to the gear set list and create a set for your Marauder class. Beautiful. And then should I add it to my bar? Yeah. And now you should be able to quickly swap back and forth between the classes just using that button. My swimming one disappeared. Oh, you'll probably have it on um, your main bar. So, And those bars change on your class. So there are a few bars that don't change. Um, and that will go to a different part. So if you hit escape and go to HUD layout, okay, um, you'll see in the mess of outlines it shows you, there will be one that's called 
there's all the hot bars, and you're looking for hot bar. Uh, <clears throat> I believe it's six. It starts at right. Uh, I've got nine, ten, seven, and eight. It's the one with the purple, so we'll just use seven for this. Okay. Um, click on seven. Did it. And then you can, um, on the main window, it'll say current UI element hotbar seven. And then you can go UI element settings, the, the gear right to the right of that. I wonder if I can stream. I bet I can't. <laughs> okay, I clicked the UI element settings. Okay, so it say, should say have a window like current element hotbar 7 and then a bunch of settings you can change. Yes. So in the bottom left, it'll say hotbar 7 and there's a little checkbox. And that turns it yes. on and off. So okay. check that checkbox to on. Okay. And while we're here... You can choose what size you want it to be. Um, for me, for this, I like it being a 6x2 and putting it near the top of my screen. So it's kind of out of the way. Okay. I'll follow. I'll copy you. Um, yeah, I have mine kind of up by the main quest on the left at the top of my screen. Will I just move my map down a little bit? Okay, that works. Wherever you want it, like... Uh, it takes a it takes a while to kind of set all this up and get comfortable with it. So wherever you want it, and then after you're done all that, you just hit save. Okay, and then save again. And then save again. Okay. And now when you're back on your main screen, you can go back to the gear set list. Okay, yes. So now when you click and drag those shortcuts, put it on the new um, shortcut bar that we just made up at the top of your screen. And just put both of them okay. up there right away. Awesome. And now if you click back and forth between the icon, it should just quickly switch you back and forth. Okay, let's try. If, if we did everything right. Okay. Okay. I think it's doing perfect. It. Yep, that was, looks like it's working perfectly. Yay! Thank you so much. And you so think now I have to do now I have to work on my fishing, or should I keep working on my main? Um, I want to quickly show you how to fish, and then you can go back to working on your main. And that way, for me personally, when I get like really bored of working on the main quest. And I'm like, I just want to do something else. <laughs> I'll do like, okay, I want to go fishing, or I want to go collect some ore with mining, or uh, some herbs with herbalizing. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. What's it called? Herbalism? <laughs> Gathering? I don't yeah, know. that makes herbalizing. sense. Herbalizing. Oh, no, botanist. it is now. It is now permanently herbalizing. Okay, it's botanist. But so we're bot we're uh, botanizing. No, we're herbalizing. We're botanizing. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's this kind of what I do. Like when I get bored of doing one thing and it's getting kind of repetitive, then I'm like, all right, I, I don't have to keep questing, so I'll just go fishing. Okay, I like it. So, but, 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 but like you're recommending to mainly focus on the main part. Right yeah, it, the way you, the main way you, you unlock the more and more of the game and level up and everything is the main quest. So that that's the most important thing to to get done. But I would definitely recommend okay. trying fishing at some point. Okay, are you gonna show me how to fish now or late another time? Oh, uh, we can go fishing. Okay, I'll be cool with that. You know, Dude doesn't walk me through all this stuff like this, guys. <laughs> uh, this is so I literally am a way better fighter now because now I know to press one and two at the right time instead of just spamming yeah. any button I can. Oh, uh, we just walked away from the teleport. Okay, that's fine. Did did that tip help anyone else or was it just me? Um, I think it was helpful to absolutely everyone. Great. I was that's not listening. I, I was only partially listening because I've been trying to quest. They told me to focus on the main quest, so that's what I've been doing. 
Um, Flopsy, where are we going? Uh, the Fisherman's Guild again. Fisherman's Guild, okay. <laughs> I've got eight minutes, and then I gotta go wake up my cute patoot and go back to mom mode instead of gamer mode. Okay, well, I'll we'll, we'll just teach you how to fish really quickly, and then you can do that. Um, so swap to Fisher. Easy for me. And then you'll want to... There's a few, going to be a few, I forget what buttons you start with, but it should be pretty basic. Uh, one should be bait. Yes. So if you click bait, do you have any bait? We got 99. Okay, so just click on the bait that you have. It'll probably be a level one something. Yes, it just put a check mark on it. Perfect. So that'll be the bait you're using mm -hmm. while we're fishing. So okay. now there will be another button on your bar uh, somewhere. Ah, called cast. There it is. That's pretty straightforward. Okay. So just press that ability and you'll cast and start fishing. Your, your fishing Thanks. rod is like half the size of mine. That's great. <laughs> okay. Um, is, it, is it because my fishing rod is low level or is it because it's like the correct size for me? No, it just, it scales to how big you are. Okay. Oh, I lost my bait. Alright, so what happened there... Um, oh, I, I was using the wrong bait, so it just straight up failed. I don't have bait for this harbor on me right now. Can I give you some of my wormies? No, that's okay. I don't need to catch these fish. There's a whole, um... Why to make it sound like these fish are below you, Flopsy? I mean, <laughs> that's, that's 100% how I interpreted it. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm going to explain. I'm level, hold, hold. Fish. I'm level 69. N hold on, I'm explaining. There is... <laughs> there is a whole fishing log thing. And a fishing guide. In, in logs. If you go to logs and then fishing guide and fishing log, there's a whole thing. How do, just how do I go to logs? Uh, bottom right, one of those buttons. It's the, the logs, th found third it. one. Logs and then Got fishing it. log and fish guide. Oh, I want to get the gathering log. I could do some gathering like I did in Last Fortress. Yeah. Um. So for the gathering, the same thing we did for fishing. You just have to go to. The Miners Guild or the uh, Botany Guild and unlock Gathering, and you can go Gathering. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, it looks like I have a like a main quest for fishing too that I could start. Yeah, every single class has their own unique quest line for that class that you'll have to work through to unlock abilities and stuff as well. So and it's this like this is all in the free free version. Completely. Yeah, this is all free. That's up, wild. Up to level seventy, so there's lots of <laughs> there's lots to get through. And I I read you can actually be seventy in all classes before actually paying. Is that yeah. correct? That is correct. Yeah. We can you can play ev the entire game up to level seventy. Um, it used to be fifty, but they kind of slowly increase it as the level cap keeps going up. So now it's seventy. Um, and. It'll get to the point where we're like, we're out of game content, and now we want to start paying. Um, also, free players can't join a guild. So, there is that. But that's not a... If that's the only reason to pay $12 a month, then that's not a great reason. We can, we can still do everything together without being in the guild together, so that's not a huge deal. I don't know what you have for fishing quests or anything, but that's that's the basic of how you fish. Okay, thank you. And then Will it, it like nibble when I Oh yeah. When you I should you should try to catch a fish, actually. There's an ability called hook. So as soon as it starts nibbling, press the hook okay. ability. And you'll okay. you'll see it hooking. I lost my bait. <laughs> Try again. What's the name of the bait you're using? I wonder if you'll be a master. Um, how would I find that out? 
in your bait ability when it opens it, you just mouse over the bait and it'll say. Okay. Uh, Lugworm. Okay, that sounds like the right. It might be. I lost my bait. So there's different fish in the water for different times of day and different weather. And you need the right like, bait for the time of day and the weather. So that might be the problem. Okay. I'll, I'll send a screenshot when I catch my first little fishy. Okay. <clears throat> and it's just a matter of like, there's, there's fishing guides and stuff online and you just have to find what bait you need for the fish and the time of day and then go fish. Like, <laughs> it's not just a matter of I have a fishing rod and therefore I can fish. Like, you actually have to take it very seriously if you were a fishing nerd. <laughs> so. But so in the, the same way, that makes it more fun. I there... can't just spam the buttons like when I fight all my creatures? No, you have to actually be careful and catch the fish at the right time when it bites. If I, I feel like I remember there being like an icon that pops up above your head. When a fish is biting. Okay. So it'll, it'll be I really obvious. You guys are playing Hey You Pikachu. I think I think it'll be really obvious. I don't know what Hey You Pikachu is. What? Let's go Pikachu. No. Okay. Uh... Hey You Pikachu is the game that originally came with my Nintendo 64. Oh. I never had a Nintendo 64. I have a Pikachu edition Nintendo 64. And it came with a Pikachu controller and the Pikachu game, and it had a microphone, and you were supposed to actually talk to the Pokemon. I'm trying to whether it registered actual words or not, I don't know. I think the only thing it recognized was Pikachu. I'm trying to remember where the guy is to buy bait, and I totally forget. All right, you guys, I've logged off. I gotta go wake up my, my cute patoots. Sorry, I couldn't join you, but thanks for joining us. No, thank you. Thank you for having me, you guys. This was very, very, very helpful. <laughs> it's also a nice way to spend my nap, just playing a game. <laughs> it's always. I wish I could yeah, nap and I... game at the same time. <laughs> well, it's like with, with Last Fortress, I was able to like pop on like throughout the day but like this sort of game I, I can't do it in front of her she would yeah. just like press all the buttons so it's like I I have to use my um, sleeping to, to play the game which is why I like doing it on my walking pad highly recommend everyone get one <laughs> I am very very tempted but then I would have to get something that I could like put a whole computer on a standing desk yeah my um we we redid my uh, husband's office this year and so he bought he bought a standing desk, one that like you press a button and it goes up and down. It's quite fancy. And then we bought a walking pad to go along with it. So then he I, I mainly I thought use about it. it. Walk and work. But there's there's manual ones that are way cheaper that you just like you just like push up and then push down. Yeah. I thought or, about it. Or even just like a nice tall surface somewhere that you can put the walking pad in front of and like, or 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 walk and just watch TV or watch a show for now. But yeah, you need um, something if you want a game on a computer. Yeah. No, I mean, I used to do that when I was younger at my dad's house. He literally had, like, a, a bike in his living room as just, like, one of the seats you could sit in. So oh, nice. I would literally just sit on a bike for hours and, like, you forget that you're doing it because you're just watching TV or playing a video game. Exactly. It's it's like it's like mindlessly eating, but you're mindlessly getting a little bit of exercise. Yes. Yeah. It's like the Better best way to do it. It is. All right. Well, thanks, you guys. It was nice playing with you guys. Next time, hopefully, I can. I want to see how little Doodad is and I want to see how big Boogie is. <laughs> I got you. And Flopsy, thank you one trillion times for all the advice. I'm sorry how many silly questions I asked. No problem. There will be an uh, invoice in the mail. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> all right, bye, guys. I don't know. I think I would question why you have her address. <laughs> uh, True.
<laughs> All right, bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.